Hey everyone, it's Jesse FK again. Now today I wanted to show you a little bit about... Well, I wanted to show you how to clean your computer. Um, I, I looked online, there's not a whole lot of good guides. Um, but uh, I found one that works... A way that works pretty well for me. Um, basically cleaning your computer is really important. Or blowing out the dust. Uh, maybe like once a month if you're not a heavy user. Um, I do mine about once a week and but it's mainly because I just have so many fans on my computer it, it's basically a really just a lot of dust that builds up um, I'll show you that later um, let me show you this uh, this item that I use that work, seems to work that works really well for me okay so here it is um, basically <clears throat> if, you're, if you don't uh, use your computer that much you probably don't need one of these you can just get use like a canned air that you can buy at like any grocery store, like well not any grocery store, but like Walmart or online on Newegg and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so this is basically a motorized um, fan. <laughs> it uh, it has a has a motor back down here and it draws in the air from down here and basically just it's really powerful it's it's pretty loud so I would try to do this during the day when everybody's awake um, but yeah basically it's about it's around fifty dollars on Amazon or so so it's kind of expensive at first but for me it's been more than worth it because like the the cans of air are like five to six dollars a can and maybe I get two to three cleanings of my computer out of each can and so with this you don't have to like wait for the can to warm up again because after you use it for maybe like a minute it gets really cold and it doesn't doesn't have a very good amount of air pressure anymore just because the CO2 expands and when the CO2 expands and it makes it cold it's not as efficient so this is basically just a constant um, constant airflow I think I think it's around 96 CFM they said online um, but when you put it in this, you know, pressurize it, it's really nice. Anyway, um, or yeah, when you have a, when it goes into like a smaller hole. It, do, it does come with some other attachments, um, but this is pretty much all I use is this one. You can see you can take, you can take it off and there's a regular hole there, but it just makes it direct, this directs it a lot better and pinpoint. Anyway. So let me go ahead and show you my computer and how dusty it is. It's been about two weeks since I've done it. Just I wanted to have like a pretty drastic show you how much the difference between before and after. So yeah, let me go ahead and uh, show you the computer now and show you how dusty it is. Okay. So as you can see here, pretty dusty. <laughs> Got a pretty good amount there um, yeah so there's just basically a lot of intake dust um, the computer's on right now but basically the fans just all kind of have a little film let me go ahead and turn it off here okay so here's another angle you can just kind of see the dust on each fan blade, you know. There's, a, there's already like a little film of dust on the back plates. <laughs> That's only been about a week, but uh, yeah. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. Um, the types of filters that are in this computer are the like nylon fabric. Let me pull one out here. There you go, now you can see more dust, but basically this is a nylon. So with these ones, um, the way that they're made, you can actually wash them in water and then just dry them off and they're perfectly fine to put back in. If you have like a foam type, um, I would just blow them out and not use water. But, uh, yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, 
show you how I rinse them off. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take out the fans. So on this one it's pretty easy to do. Um, just so I got that one back here I already showed you. I try to just be really careful so the dust doesn't fly everywhere. Like I said, I should have done this a week ago, but, you know, I want it to look nice on camera. Okay. I gotta pull this forward a little. There's one on the bottom, which isn't that bad. Okay, now let's go wash them. Okay, so what I like to do is my bathroom, so excuse the mess. Um, I like to just get in the sink. I like to, do, I like to use warm water. Uh, it takes a little while for my water to get warm, but you just use some warm water. And it's pretty easy, just. Uh, Suck them in there. So I like to I like to spread, put the water the opposite way that the you know uh, the dust came into the filter, just so it goes you know back out. And I like to just rub them with my hands a little bit, I just, uh, just a little more thorough. So after that, you're going to go ahead and just, uh, you know, stick it on a towel here. Let me make sure I'm in the frame. Okay. So, just put it on there, just lay it flat, just kind of press it with paper towel. So you want to make sure it's pretty dry, <laughs> like no water spots, so it looks good. Put it off to the side. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and uh, spray off the front cover. And anyway, I'll show you that. Okay, so this is my hallway. <laughs> Just outside my room a little bit. Um, gonna go ahead and blow out the side panel and the front panel. Um, it gets pretty loud, so I'll turn it down the volume for this. But <laughs> if you want, you know, you can you can do this outside. Um, yeah, I, I do it outside probably like every three months or so. Um, I and I just take apart like. I take everything out of the computer except for the motherboard and I just blow it off really well. But anyway, uh, yeah, so here's my trusty ear blower and here's the side panel. So I'll Okay, so 
here we are the computer on the ground here now, this is just usually where I do it um, it's probably why I have to do it more often but that's okay I don't mind um, yeah so just doing the same thing um, with this thing just the Cleaning out the insides. Um, if you're using a canned air, I'd recommend just doing like little squirts, like, psh, 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 you know, just because if you do it too long, it does get cold really fast. And uh, if you have like two cans of air or something, you might just swap them out once it starts getting really cold. And that way you'll have good air pressure again. Um, and one thing I forgot to mention, if you, you don't want to use a vacuum on a computer ever, like a, a vacuum actually creates a negative charge when it's sucking in and it can lead to static electricity on the, your computer parts and static is bad for computers, obviously. Um, anyway, so... I'm just going to go ahead and start doing this. It's going to be really loud, so I'm not going to really talk through it. Um, I'll probably speed it up. So, yeah. So here, here's how I do it. Thanks. Okay, that's about it. Um, there's there's going to be a little light dust just because that sticks to stuff, so you kind of have to use your hand or so something. But a little light dust is okay. But the amount of dust that I had was pretty bad. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and show you the insides a little bit. And I'll get a little close up. Okay, so here it is a little bit closer. Um, and you can see the light, light film left. But not too bad. It looks a lot better. Sorry for the wobbly. Doing this with one hand pretty much. Yeah, anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Okay. As you can see, <laughs> dust is a lot better. And it looks pretty good again. So, that's it afterward. Okay, well, I hope you like this video. Um, anyway, go ahead and uh, let me know what you thought. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Um, I'll be... Keep on pumping out videos like this, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.